Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how we can stay sane in an insane world. Let's get started. But first, some housekeeping announcements. My new course, Deep Key Learning from Paper to Coat, is on sale right now at Udemy for $10.99. Link in the description. So let's get to the topic at hand. So I'm not going to say the words because of the YouTube algorithm, but you know what's going on. You know what's going around the world. And you know that we've all been corralled into our homes to kind of huddle in fear and to await the end of the seeming apocalypse. Now, far from being a doomsday type scenario, I assure you we will eventually achieve some new state of normalcy. I don't think it's going to go back to being what we had uh, ever. Honestly, I don't think there's going to be a return to life as it was, but we will achieve a new equilibrium, a new sense of normal, and we'll go about our daily lives in the new normal. In the interim, you have an enormous opportunity in front of you. While it may seem that the world is going insane and you know, you're know you going to lose your mind staying inside, the reality is that this is probably one of the biggest chances in your life to kind of cocoon yourself and to do the butterfly type transformation you've always wanted to do. So let's talk about how you can turn this seeming negative situation into one of the greatest times of your life. Step zero is to wrap your mind around the fact that this is going to last a while. Now, I am not a pessimistic person by nature, but logic dictates that we're going to have to be holed up for quite some time. And when we emerge, uh, things are going to start to spread again, and we're probably going to have to go back into hiding at least a while longer. So you need to wrap your mind around that, be prepared for that mentally, uh, and just understand that don't hold out false hope that within a few weeks things are going to go back to normal because they're not. So step zero is get your mind around the fact that we're stuck here, you need to make the most of this time while you can. Step one, uh, this isn't related to career or personal development, but I would strongly suggest that you take advantage of this time to reinforce connections with those in your life. Uh, if you've ever lost anyone, you know that one of the worst pains in life is the things left unsaid, so leave nothing unsaid for those that you care about. Uh, call your friends, your family, make sure they're doing okay. Provide any morale support you can. Provide any you know shoulder to cry on that you can from a safe distance, of course. Uh, do whatever you can to strengthen those bonds because they are the most important thing you have in your life, even beyond your career, even beyond your future. Uh, without those human connections, you're pretty much an island unto yourself, and that's no way to live. Uh, if you've neglected those connections, uh, if you you know left things up with a friend on a bad note, assuming that you know it's not totally irreparable, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and fix that now while you still can, because hey, you never know what the future holds. You never know. Uh, who you're going to need or who's going to need you. So next thing may be something you don't particularly want to hear, uh, but you really need to start exercising if you haven't already. Don't allow the lack of access to a gym to be an excuse to uh, end up like me with the full dad bod. Uh, this is also advice to me as well. You know, I'm doing this video as much for myself as I am for you guys, uh, but we need to find ways to not only, you know, relieve stress in a creative and uh, productive fashion, but also to harden our bodies against, you know, the stuff going around is eventually we're going to have to go back to life. And I don't think this stuff is going anywhere. It's going to be endemic. And so you're going to have to improve your health, improve your fitness, build up a reserve of energy to fight off, you know, uh, whatever may afflict you in the future. And just because you're home, you know, doesn't mean you can't do that, right? Guys in jail get jacked, you know, We've all seen the, the movies of, of the Jack's Prisoner, and so these guys have literally nothing to work with. So you in your home with you know, a significant amount of stuff to work with can certainly figure something out. And if you want a resource on that, check out uh, Athlete X. It's probably the biggest fitness channel on YouTube. Uh, he's a physical trainer, uh, physical uh, therapist, excuse me, as well as trainer for Major League Baseball and NBA type stuff. Uh, so the guy knows what he's talking about, and he has, of course, probably 100, 200 videos on how to get a solid workout in at home. And so if you don't have a home gym, all you have is body weight, avail yourself of that resource so that way you can, you know, get in some type of exercise to get in shape because it's going to help uh, in all aspects of your life. Exercise is truly a force multiplier because it is a outlet for, it's an outlet for stress and as well as actually working to preserve and improve your IQ. That's kind of incidentally one of the only things you can do to make yourself smarter is to exercise. Who would have thought? So the next point I want to make is that if this crisis has done anything, it has shown us that the average American is woefully underprepared for an economic upheaval event. You know, if if you lose a job, if 
you are, you know, if you have a spouse and that person loses a job, many people are in dire financial straits. And, you know, I'm not going to, you know, shame people for their life situation. It's not the point here. But the point is that this should be a wake up call that that is not, you know, a tenable way of living in the modern world. You do need some level of savings. And how can you get that? So I'm going to assume that, you know, anybody watching this is probably a programmer, right? You're doing machine learning, you're doing data science, you probably know how to code. Now you've chosen the path of machine learning and artificial intelligence, but there's no reason you can't learn other things. And in particular, there are other in-demand skill sets related to programming uh, that have far more opportunities than machine learning and data science. In fact, you know, good old PHP and WordPress is one of the most in-demand skill sets there is because you know the overwhelming majority of websites are built on top of WordPress, uh, built using PHP, uh, even in other frameworks. Uh, second to that would probably be JavaScript and its associated backend Node.js frameworks. Uh, so those are two really great things to be learning in your time, you know, hermited up in your house. Uh, pick up an extra skill set, extra skill set perpendicular to machine learning and artificial intelligence. That'll give you the ability to go out and hunt for yourself, so to speak, to be able to do sales to increase your income on your own through various freelancing websites. Now, I'm not, I'm not bullish on uh, Upwork in 2020. I have kind of left the platform a year ago. I've had a number of bad experiences, but all of that was in the the old world, right? The the previous way of doing things. Now that uh, having income is essential, you know, having as much of it as possible is even more critical than ever and an even bigger opportunity than ever. Uh, there is going to be a mad rush for both clients and freelancers to get on these platforms and to take advantage of those opportunities. So I would advise you to pick up a secondary skill set in something like PHP or JavaScript and pick up maybe even mobile app development, something like that, whatever in those three areas may interest you, but some web and mobile centric uh, programming gig would be a phenomenal way of, of increasing your income in the short and medium term. Next point I wanna make is that many companies are going to be, you know, um, the bailouts have a number of provisions where companies have to keep employees and that's going to have unintended consequences down the line. While the situation we're in uh, is currently unfolding, it may keep people's jobs, but in the future you're going to see more and more layoffs uh, because companies that can't afford to, you know, that aren't allowed to fire people that they cannot now will simply go under, right, uh, if they take the bailout. So uh, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. You can't interfere in the market without unintended consequences. It's just, you know, a fact of life. And so there's going to be more pressure to uh, do more with less in the future, which is, you know, even if this hadn't happened, that's probably a truism, right? That's what we've seen in recent years. And so there's going to be a greater and greater push towards automation, which means that AI, machine learning, data science are going to be especially in demand skill sets. And so you need to position yourself to take advantage of that. So how do you do that? Well, you do it the way I'm doing here. You get on the internet, you uh, at least have some sort of say a YouTube channel or a blog or something that at least puts your name out there that you can point to and say, hey, I exist. I'm someone you want to talk to. It's something you can use to establish yourself as you know, a quote unquote thought leader. I hate that phrase because there's only a handful of actual thought leaders in the world, but you know, something or do to, to uh, position yourself as someone who is at least willing to speak out, has some ideas and can articulate those ideas in a way that other people are going to want to listen to. So marketing yourself is going to be the next critical skill set in addition to, you know, perpendicular skill sets to fill the gap in your income in the intermediate term. Marketing yourself is going to be especially critical moving forward because you're going to need to compete against an ever increasing number of people, right? There's people that are entering the workforce every single day. And so they're your competition, right? Particularly in a world where uh, there is a decreasing number of jobs and an increasing number of uh, competitors for the job you have to stand out in some way and marketing is how you're going to stand out and in particular if you combine the marketing with the previous point of a broad and diverse skill set you make yourself even more useful to smaller firms that tend to value such things you know at global mega corporation they don't really care they want to slot humans into pieces of the machine uh, and to have them crank out a widget in you know the proverbial chain of the the factory whatever they're churning out right you know obviously it's code not not physical things but you get the idea 
And so smaller firms that have to make do with a smaller headcount don't slot in people to specific roles. Rather, they try to leverage people for as much as they possibly can. And the broader skill set you have, the more connections you have, the more valuable you are, not just in terms of being able to tap others for opportunities, but being able to help your employer tap others for opportunities. So if you're working on an open source project, let's say, and you get a job at a startup and they say, hey, we're looking for someone else in such and such position. If you say, hey, I run an open source project and I know half a dozen other great people, that makes you, you know, a great asset to the company because then they can leverage those other connections to get someone to fill the role. That helps make you look good, helps your friends get positions, helps everybody out and everybody wins. And finally, I want to talk about mastering fundamentals. So one of the things that separates amateurs from professionals is the mastery of fundamentals. You don't need to know the most, you know, the most up to date, the most fanciest, most fanciest uh, stuff, but you do need to have a solid mastery of the fundamentals of your field. If you are, if you're not in data science or machine learning, whatever you are in, you must know and master the fundamentals. Uh, 90% of success is, you know, being able to do the fundamentals, the basic stuff in your field. And that's really going to set you apart in the workplace because, as I said, employers are going to be looking for opportunities to lay people off, get rid of them, to increase their bottom line, particularly in the upcoming months and years. Uh, it's kind of, you know, there's no way you can think that we're going to come out of running the printing press 24-7 without any type of economic upheaval. And so there's going to be economic pressure on companies to get rid of unproductive employees. And those that are lacking a mastery of the fundamentals are going to fall in that category of non-productive. You don't want that to be you. So you need to be proactive at taking advantage of the time you have now to master the fundamentals as well as broadening your skill set and learning to market yourself. So just to recap, uh, the points are the following. Step zero, you need to wrap your mind around the fact that this isn't going away. Life isn't going back to the way it was. There's going to be a new normal. It's not the end of the world, but the old rules will no longer apply. You must adapt or you're going to go extinct. Next thing is you need to reinforce, rekindle your existing relationships with those around you because really without that, you don't have much of anything else. And there's no greater regret in life than the things that are left unsaid. So leave nothing unsaid, as long as they're positive, of course. Next up is you need a force multiplier, and that force multiplier is exercise. That'll give you the ability to relieve stress, the ability to improve your health so that way you'll be more resilient to this stuff going around, as well as, you know, help you to stay sane in a time when you can't go out and, you know, run around and do the stuff you used to do. Exercise is a great outlet for that. Uh, there's really no downside to it. Next is going to be picking up a perpendicular skill set. Most of us are in machine learning, AI, that type of stuff, and so I would recommend as a perpendicular skill set something like web development, app development, because there's still a huge market for that and uh, it's going to be an easy skill set for you to acquire if you already know how to program. While you're doing all that, make sure to be marketing yourself, you know, publish blog content, start a YouTube channel, uh, do whatever it takes to get your name out there. I've said this numerous times, it's more true now than ever. The ability to market yourself, to sell yourself in particular, to learn to sell your skill sets online is going to be critical moving forward and it's going to really help you fill the gap in income as well as create new opportunities in the future. Finally, make sure to master the fundamentals. Don't rely on, you know, stack overflow. Rely on your own ability to solve basic problems. If you find yourself looking up too many things on stack overflow, write down what you're looking up and you don't know and then fill in that gap in your, your skill set. And, and if anything that you look up should be, you know, hyper specific, something very, very uh, niche to whatever you're doing. You should have a solid mastery of the fundamentals because that's going to set you apart from the most people and going to help you retain whatever position you're able to land in the new world. All that said, that was just my opinions. You know, I don't claim to have a corner on the market of truth. So if you have differing opinions, leave those below. If you agree, you disagree, I'd love to hear from from you, what your experiences, what your thoughts, what your plan is for dealing with the current situation. If you found this helpful, please share, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I know only something like 13% of you get my notifications. And also don't forget my new course, Deep Key Learning from Paper to Code is on sale right now on Udemy for $10.99. Hit the link in the description to find that code course on sale. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.